So this is the slug that is supposed to hold the manifold in place on the on the wall bracket. Uh, off camera I uh, drilled and tapped one hole M8 to connect it to the wall attachment like so and the other hand on the other side I um, centered it and the only thing left to do to get this piece finished is to center it up in the mill and uh, mill a slot the width of the uh, extension rod uh, through the uh, through the slug and then uh, drill two holes M3 to uh, fix it uh, to the slug so I have the mill ready here this is what the one I'm going to use it has exactly the width of the um, of the connection rod and uh, yeah it's now a matter of putting this in the mill centering it up and uh, then we'll uh, go from there looks like we have focus and before I press the record I also centered so that's good means we can take the center out which lives here and it's not used putting in the mill now the depth of this slot if I'm not mistaken Now the depth of this slot is going to be 10 millimeters. Just checking it once more, but 10 millimeters is the correct uh, size. Let's see. Zero. I think we should be able to take uh, at least one millimeter cuts.
I think we could even do more than a millimeter uh, per cup. But uh, this is rinse and repeat, so I'll bring you back when I'm uh, close to the last cup. So, this was supposed to be the last pass. Now let's see if we have a fit. Oh yeah. And also the top is exactly flush with the uh, slug, shall I call it. So that's fine. Next step, drilling holes. So here's the virtually finished uh, piece. The only thing I have to do is uh, I have to make uh, an outlet for the um, left hand uh, hose so that it more or less uh, looks similar like the, uh, like the other one and also to make sure that the oil flow is, uh, uh, is straight down into the funnel. Uh, for tonight I'm going to call it quits. So here we are for the last exciting episode of the waste oil manifold. In this last part I'm going to make the, um, the spout uh, that goes onto the uh, second uh, oil line. So what that uh, means is uh, I have a piece of steel here in the, in the lathe. I'm going to uh, turn the first part down to uh, 7 mm so that I can thread it M7. Then we will uh, cut it off, I guess, uh, at the uh, uh, required length. Turn it around, turn uh, something of uh, uh, a cone on it, merely for uh, aesthetics. And I'm also going to make some flat sides on it so that I can fit uh, a wrench. It's probably going to be a 10 millimeter wrench. So that's the plan. Exactly seven. I'm going to uh, to file off the edge so that the um, the die 
can get a better grip. And uh, then we'll see whether it goes on or not. Um, otherwise I might have to take a very slight uh, bit off. So I'm putting the die on, on it in the other direction. Perhaps with a little bit of help from the from the quill. I'm not really able to see this. Sorry if my head is in the way, but this is a bit of a delicate job, so I need to be able to see it myself as well. Because actually I think the camera now has a better view than I do. And there she goes. Okay, to make the flats on this uh, um, piece, I'm going to uh, use uh, one of my latest acquisitions, namely this uh, collet holder ER32. It arrived only yesterday from China. Where else? And um, I'm going to insert it in the mill. I don't have uh, um, a vice top but um, what I have done is I have tightened the uh, the nut as far as I uh, think is necessary or actually uh, as far as it uh, would uh, possibly go and then I can uh, insert the whole piece with the two flats against the jaws of the vice and with the top or the actually the bottom of the nut against the vise and that is a position that I can repeat in each of the six uh, settings that uh, we need to perform this operation I think we even going to have to do it more than six times because uh, I don't think I'll be able to get it to size in one go what I'll do is I'll mill uh, all six sides, take a measurement, decide how much more I need to take off and uh, take another round.
I'm first going to try now because the original diameter was 12. I have nice sharp edges. If uh, an 11 uh, millimeter key fits properly now, then I'm not going to bother to take off another half a mil. It's a little sloppy, but I probably have to tighten this only once, very few times at least, so I'm calling this good, good enough. This project has taken uh, more than enough time already. And here's the result. Here it is, one oil line connected, and because I have a wood fire in my stove, also the um, the alternative fuel, so to say, is ready for uh, use. It's uh, it's certainly hot enough. So you're probably going uh, wondering how uh, I'm going to get that uh, uh, to seep through the hose, because uh, once it's here, it will siphon by itself. That should be quite obvious, but uh, to get it there, I wasn't really planning to uh, to go and suck on the on the uh, outlet. Uh, that's a bit too uh, too dirty. But I have something else in mind. I'll show you. The secret shop weapon. There you go. So I guess there's only one thing left to do now, and that's to try it. So. Put the diesel in the funnel. At least there's something burning in there now. <laughs> 